DNA replication. Now, as we know, replication is a semi-conservative method. This was found by in 1950s and by Nicholson and Stahl in Otto radio experiment. Otto radio ex- radiography in which a radioactive is used, or maybe imaging technique uses radioactive sources, or maybe using X-ray film to visualize molecular fragment that have radioactively labeled. Now, in theta replication, in E. coli and other prokaryotes have circular DNA. In this replication, molecules assume the shape of theta. Whereas DNA of plasmid phages viruses have a circular. In eukaryotes also, like my in mitochondria, DNA and chloroplast have a circular DNA. Theta sub is found in E. coli and plasmid like C O I E P S C one zero one R six K and F plasmid. Circular DNA has single origin of replication where two replication fork originate and proceed in opposite direction. Fork expand as new daughter strand are extended during replication. First evidence of E. coli in 1963 from J. Carnes Otto radio experiment. Radioactive 3H hydrogen thymidine is taken after months atom decayed emit electron visualized as dark green on an auto radiograph. So this pattern takes shape of classical circular theta. Cells incorrupted for two generations represent continuous lines of dark green. Result shows replication can be bidirectional. Unidirectional or bidirectional depends on the replication fork move in one direction visualized in electron micrograph. Electron micrograph is the image found by bombarding specimen with finely focused electron beam with acceleration voltage under vacuum detecting transmitted secondary backs at all and diffracted characteristics x-ray remits vacuum is space now replication bubble expand in both direction it means bi-directional replication in prokaryotes you and eukaryotes like eukaryotes like yeast fruit fly and mammals Bidirectional replication. So unidirectional is found in mitochondria like invertebrates.